So to be able to compute the labor supply, we have to think about our representation of the labor market. Um, so you remember here we are going to take a flow approach to the labor market. We saw that if these flows are going to play a very important role, and so we are going to model the labor market like that. Okay. So what does that mean if, if you're a worker? It means that you, you can be in, uh, in two categories. So we're going to focus on the labor force, and in the labor force you can either be employed, and we'll assume so this is going to be our labor force, H, L that's going to be the number of employed workers and then U that's going to be our number of unemployed uh, workers. Okay, So the labor force is split between employed workers and unemployed workers. Okay, And um, so what we're going to be interested in is how people move from employment to unemployment. Okay, so uh, let's see, so we can represent that uh, with a little diagram. So this is the labor market that the model, this is the representation of the labor market in the model. So we are going to have a stock of employed workers. We are going to have, oh, let's see. Stock of unemployed workers. Oh, right. Um, let's see. We do not work around. Okay, so we have a stock of unemployed workers and we have a stock of, oops, of employed workers. All right. Okay, so how do, the, how do people move from one to the other? So first of all, we saw that uh, there is a constant rate at which people lose their job. Okay? So there is a constant flow of workers who move from employment to uh, unemployment. Right, so, uh, and remember here, so the sum of these two things, uh, all these people that we're talking about here, who are involved in employment or unemployment, these are all people, these are people who are in the labor force. So this is, here we are representing the labor force. Okay, so we have people who are employed and we have people who are uh, unemployed. Okay, so, um, So, at which rate do people leave uh, employment? So, we saw that there is a job separation rate that captures all separation from employment, and this we call it S. So, this is the share of the employed people who lose their job. And so, if we want to know the number of people who lose their job, oh, sorry, I used E here for employment, so that's um, bad. Sorry, apologies for that. So we said that uh, we would call the number of people. We would call the number of people who are employed L and the number of people who are uh, unemployed U. Okay. Uh, so these are the employed. These are the unemployed. Apologies for that. Right. So uh, S is the rate at which people lose their job. L is the number of people who have a job. So S times L, this is just the number uh, of workers who flow into unemployment. at any point in time, okay? Uh, that's S times L. 
at the same time, at any point in time, you have people who find jobs. Um, so we'll also have flows from unemployment to employment. And uh, so how many, uh, how many people are moving from unemployment to employment? Well, you remember that because we have a matching function, we are able to know how many people find jobs. And we said last time that the job finding rate was a function of the tightness that we called f of theta. f of theta is telling us uh, that the job finding rate, it's telling us the rate at which people find job. And so f of theta times u, that's going to be the number of people who flow from unemployment into uh, employment. Okay, I guess I don't have much space. So that's the number of workers who flow into employment. Okay. So this is what we have. And this is, so I haven't really spoken about you know, the time dimension, but here our model is going to be what we call a dynamic model. So it's going to uh, allow for time to move continuously. And so this rate, S, the job separation rate, F of theta, the job finding rate, these are rates by unit uh, by unit time, okay? Whatever the unit time uh, is. Um, so typically in macro, the unit time is going to be, say, a month or something like that. Um, so you can think of that as a month. S is the number of workers who lose their job per month. F is the number of workers who find a job per month. And the flows are just monthly flows, okay? So we have F of theta times U and we have S times M. So in terms of language that you may see, uh, S times L, it's sometimes called the inflows into unemployment. So when you read uh, work on labor market flows, you will see that, and the F of theta times U, it's sometimes called the outflows uh, from unemployment. 